morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to today's Design News webinar. Benefits of modular aluminum framing and innovative T-slot joining options. Sponsored by Bonello Aluminum and broadcast by Informa. I'm Bob Sperber, and I'll be your moderator, your moderator today. We have just a few announcements before we begin. This webinar is designed to be interactive. The dock of widgets at the bottom of your screen will allow you to learn about today's speakers, download resources, share this webinar via social media outlets, and participate in the Q&A session that takes place at the end of our presentation. The slides will advance automatically throughout the event. And you may also download a copy of the slides via the resources widget. Toward the end of our webinar, we will ask you to complete our survey found on the right-hand side of your screen. Please do take a minute to fill this brief survey out before leaving us today because your feedback will provide us with valuable information on how we can improve future events. Lastly, if you're experiencing any technical problems at all, please click the Help widget that's found at the bottom of your screen, or else you can also type your issue into the Q&A area, and we will be glad to offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. Now, on to the presentation, benefits of modular aluminum flare framing and innovative T-slot joining options. Discussing today's topics, that are, it is Spencer Nance, Marketing Generalist with Bonell Aluminum, and Josh Bruick, Eastern Regional Sales Manager with Bonell Aluminum. To learn more about our speakers, visit the BIOS widget on your screen. And without further ado, Spencer, over to you. Great. Thank you so much, Bob. Um, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, good afternoon, or good morning, good evening to all those to attending today to learn more about our TSOTS product line that is uh, extruded by Bonnell Aluminum. We are excited to uh, have everybody joining along here, and we're hoping we will have an, an enjoyable afternoon and that we can uh, learn some new stuff here about what TSOTS is and how it can help you. Uh, just to give a brief uh, background on myself, I've been working with this TSOTS product line for just over 12 years now, I've worked in various capacities from uh, being on the production line, inventory, sales, and now where I am doing the marketing of this. So this is a product that is uh, near and dear to my heart. I really enjoy it. I've used it for a lot of personal applications, um, and I enjoy all those who are able to enjoy this product as well. So I we want to give you some uh, outlook on what we can expect from today. We want to give you a basic understanding of what this T-Slots product is. Uh, how it can be used in your everyday life, uh, your work life, uh, manufacturing, uh, different industries uh, that you can use this for. What are the applications that it can use for? We'll be covering a lot of this. Uh, and then the time old question of uh, which is better or what advantages that aluminum of this T-slots offers versus steel framing that you see a lot in the manufacturing world. Um, and of course, uh, as we get more into this, you'll learn more about the customization of what T-slots can do. Uh, no solution, as you can see there, is out of the box. Everything is versatile, uh, modular, so there's really an, endlin, or an endless uh, options of what you can build and what you can do to that. So those are kind of some things that we hope that you will get out of this uh, webinar today. And before we jump into that, I kind of want to give you a background of uh, who Bonnell Aluminum is and what makes this TSOTS product so great. Uh, Bonnell Aluminum uh, is an OEM custom aluminum extruder. We are one of the largest custom extruders in the nation. Uh, and we do, and we've been in the market for just over 65 years now. So we've had the time, we've had our resources now on developing a good system that we are able to extrude high quality aluminum material uh, something that we've gotten to know very well uh, with automotive industries, transportation, uh, especially in the T-slots world, which is kind of the industrial equipment, and which we will talk about. Um, so a lot of great opportunities that Bonnell has provided for us and they're giving T-slots, this product line, a platform of being able to excel and to make people's lives a little easier by using it. Um, T-slots is one of two product lines that Bonnell does extrude. Uh, the second being uh, Futura Transitions. So this is similar to what you'll see in a lot of uh, uh, bathroom places like walls and trims, uh, bathroom trim, tile trim, shower trims. As you can see in one of the pictures down below there, uh, as tile butts up against some LVT planking. 
Uh, it's a big industry. It's something that uh, has done really well for us. And we enjoy having these uh, set product lines where everything's in stock and available uh, to you. And it's not something that's custom you have to design. It's just readily available for you. So T-Slots is uh, the first product line of what we will be spending our time with today. Uh, we've been around for just over uh, 23, 24 years now. Uh, T-Slots was created in 1999. Uh, this was essentially to kind of compete with some of the existing suppliers out there with 8020. Uh, some big names that a lot of people are familiar with, Bosch Rexroth. Uh, they've been doing these T-Slotted systems for a while. Uh, Bonnell Aluminum. Uh, we found the opportunity as being a custom extruder that we can build similar profiles to what's out there. And that would give us a great advantage of being one of the only vertical integrated suppliers in the world with this type of a product. So we're able to manage a little bit of our overhead, our inventory, uh, as we've seen with a lot of over the last couple of years, we've been able to manage our lead times a bit better, even though I'll you know, say there's only so much you can do with the industry out there. But um, with that platform of B Bonnell being in five different states, that has given us the allotment of having uh, two manufacturing facilities focus on T-slotted to profiles and extrusions. So we do have a location in Clearfield, Utah, and another one in Niles, Michigan. So this allows us to kind of spread throughout the country to hit the West and hit the East Coast and to be able to better serve and provide to all those who are interested from our distributors to uh, DIY users, to just about anybody out there. We have ways to be able to grow and expand into that as well. So uh, moving on, I want to give a quick background. The most important thing of what T-Slots is, for those uh, not familiar with it, T-Slots is a modular framing system uh, built with the specific design of a T in the slots, as you can see in the picture here. So this allows for fastening options of T-slots, or excuse me, T-nut fasteners and bolts to simply be channeled in through that slot. With the use of simple hand fasteners, you're able to tighten it down, uh, making secure, durable connections. But um, as you can see, as it's a T-nut and bolt, all you have to do is simply loosen up the versatility and you can create different options. So no one project that you build ever has to be the same. You can continue to change it uh, to whatever projects you need. As we know, in the, especially in the manufacturing world, uh, projects change, floor processes change due to lean manufacturing or lean processes. Things uh, need to be consistently better. So we've built this product, we've extruded this product to grow with you, grow with your processes, um, and which has been very helpful. Uh, besides the extrusion as well, uh, we do have many connecting and fastener options that we are able to extrude in linear profiles that we're able to cut down machine. So outside of just the extrusions, we have these various type of angle connectors, brackets, plates, uh, many different options that allow you to customize and really get uh, deep into what you want to create. So a lot of what we see built with T-slots, uh, custom machine guarding, uh, workstations, uh, handles, or material handling, excuse me, uh, very different options, and all the way down to some of the people who just do uh, DIYs, so garage shelvings. We've seen a lot of campers built, a lot of various and very unique uh, applications are being able to use and be built with that. Um, I do like to show this picture as it's very, very in-depth. Uh, we've got a motion ladder here with some material and inventory racking shelves just kind of give a brief idea of what you can expect and just the endless uh, possibilities that you're able to build with that. Um, okay. So uh, the T-Slots product offering, this is kind of where we get into the nitty gritty and kind of understand more about what it can do. So within T-Slots, we have three specific product lines. Uh, one is our fractional sizing. So this is a, your increments of the fractional size. So one inch increments. So anywhere between these rectangle or square profiles of half an inch to an inch, all the way up to four inch profiles for sturdier heavy duty applications. Uh, we have a inch and a half series increments, which we can get up to about four and a half inch wide profiles as well. Uh, and of course, uh, the more universal sizing of our metric which is our 20 series, uh, 40 series, and again, similar to what we see with the 10 series and 15 series. 
Uh, these are increments that you can build upon, you can get bigger with. So it really allows you to get versatile and build pretty much whatever you're looking to build. Uh, and our third and final size is our B series sizing. So this is a unique line that we've developed over the, not developed, excuse me, that we've kind of grown in the last couple of years as a lot of European extruders uh, have brought their product to the market. We've seen a lot of interest in those type of systems and a lot of people who've wanting to uh, buy those from the United States instead of from overseas. Uh, being that we are a vertically integrated uh, extruder, that benefit of being who we are and being able to customize profiles has allowed us to grow into various industries and build profiles that support other systems just besides the fractional imperial sizing and the metric system. So these are that, that's another great pro or benefit to who Bonnell Aluminum is, is you're never stuck with just what our product offering has. Whatever you see that maybe we don't have, uh, we can consider extruding those. So you always have an endless possibility of what you are able to do. Uh, within these product offerings as well, uh, we have various sizing. We've got a light profile, we've got standard, and we've got more heavy duty. Uh, weight is a big thing when it comes to aluminum. Uh, so if you're looking for more of a cosmetic, cosmetic aesthetic look, uh, our lighter profiles, which don't weigh as much and aren't going to be supporting any uh, weight bearing loads are great for those types. Um, and then again, we have the heavy profiles, which are more surrounded by the weight bearing. So as you're building heavier projects, uh, machine guard framing or whatever it may be in those industries that require uh, heavy duty uh, sturdiness, we have those profiles available to you. Uh, some of the other options that we have to, again, as things are customizable to you, we have different anodized colors. So as you can see in the pictures there, we have some clear anodized. Uh, that's probably our more common one. And then we also have a black anodized uh, that kind of gives just a better cosmetic look, depending if you're doing retail, uh, trade show type booths where you're looking for more uh, people to notice you, to get uh, just be a little more outstanding there those black uh, anodized profiles really stand out. And again, as we are in the manufacturing, really focus in the industrial area, we've uh, developed a couple of profiles that we have a yellow safety color. It's a powder coated material. Uh, just again, as lean and processes, uh, OSHA gets heavily involved in those type of things. You need to have those color coded systems in which we have matched to OSHA specs for that safety yellow. So you're able to build yellow safety guarding or just warnings or whatever it may be when you're around those heavy duty machines. So um, I do wanna do a quick poll here. I do wanna open this up, uh, get some questions from people. Um, just kind of a base understanding of what T-slots has been so far or what you've been able to understand. If you were to use this extrusion or for those of you out there who are already using this extrusion or in components, what type of applications are best suited for you? So I think now you can uh, you can jump in here. I have about 30 seconds. If you wanna go ahead and click, uh, what kind of application you think would best suit you for T-slots or this kind of material? What kind of application, uh, the industry that you're in? Uh, if you wanna go ahead and do so now, uh, that would be the time and we will kind of, we will take a look at those poll results here just momentarily. <laughs> All right, I see we're getting there. We're, we'll keep this open for just a few more seconds here. All right, we will uh, go ahead now. So just to kind of give us an idea of a lot of the people who are attending this webinar, it's interesting to see what kind of application uses there are. And it also gives an idea of uh, who else is attending. For you yourselves, you can see what other people are doing with this type of material. So let's go ahead and check out these results. Okay. So yeah, automation, uh, robotics, uh, big industry, as we've seen uh, recently as well, is a lot of these uh, smaller collaborative robots 
Uh, if anybody's been attending trade shows recently with them uh, reopening, uh, robotics especially have been a massive industry. Uh, we do have a specialized line, some products that we've built that actually uh, allow mounting of certain cobots to our uh, t slotted material. So whether it be a movable uh, setup or we have workbenches, that type as well, that we can actually fix those right to the application as well. So awesome. That is that is great information. So I do thank anybody who has submitted those. Uh, that's great information. Um, uh, just uh, finalize before we uh, move on here. Uh, T-slots, again, uh, very expandable, malleable material. It's great. Uh, and again, as we'd mentioned before, there's the time will tell of which is better between aluminum and steel. There are many advantages, uh, disadvantages for the steel portion, but uh, it really is something that we are going to talk about more here. So I will turn uh, the time over here to Josh to talk about the remaining time or the remaining slides. Hey, thanks, Spencer. As, as, as mentioned, my name is Josh Bruick. I'm a regional sales manager um, for T-slots and Bonnell Aluminum. I cover the east portion of the country. Uh, I've been in the industry for about, uh, about a decade. Uh, in various different roles, various different territories. And, and one thing that, that remains consistent uh, out in the field or whether I'm working with distribution is, is, is when we're out in front of people, we're, we're, really, we're really talking to a lot of folks that have used traditional building methods like steel and, and wood and things like that, uh, specifically steel, right? So we get asked a lot of, of you know, how, how our product compares to steel uh, what makes it better, what might not make it better. But, you know, we really start with the ease of assembly, you know, and historically, you know, manufacturing companies oftentimes would, would if, if they needed something made, they would have somebody weld something up, whether it was a fixture, whether it was a workstation, you know, material handling cart, whatever it was, you know, it would get welded out of steel, um, you know, and then all, all of a sudden along comes this aluminum and it's, you know, what's going on here. So, you know, in, you know, steel steel requires specialization, right? It's kind of a it's kind of working with steel is kind of becoming a lost art, right? You you need somebody that knows how to weld that might be certified uh, in welding, and and you know it's kind of a a lost trade. It's not taught as much in school anymore. So, you know, we like to think that really anybody can build with our product if they get it in their hands, and I think that's an advantage, you know, for our product is the ease of assembly, right? Um, you know, oftentimes if you're building with steel, it needs to be powder coated, painted, and depending on what setting it is, it could end up rusting. So, you know, with our anodized fish f finish, we, we like to think that our, our product's kind of superior in that area. And then you get into weight a little bit, right? Aluminum in general is about a third of the weight of steel. Um, you know, and at the same weight, it's almost twice as strong as steel. So uh, the, the better strength to weight ratio really makes aluminum a great option where lightweight applications are needed. And then you get into modularity, right? It's, it's, it's hard to, it's, you know, you, you don't think of a weld as being too mods modular, right? Once something's welded, you're not really reusing it. So, uh, you know, in turn, it can make aluminum, T-slotted aluminum, a much better uh, investment while, you know, while it's reusable. And you've got the anodized finish, finish that I mentioned. It's, it's much less susceptible to corrosion than steel. There's less maintenance over time, which includes, you know, damp and wet environments where you can use stainless steel hardware. And in many cases, there's not any fabrication that's needed. You can buy you can buy stock length material, uh, unmachined or non-machined fasteners where you can just use T-nuts and joining plates and, and put the product together that way. And, and, and finally, it's it's a much greener product, right? Uh, Bonnell and T-Slots has a focus on reusability and recycling. Uh, you know, so we, we really put an emphasis on that to really kind of make sure we're reusing and recycling where we can. We've got remelt facilities where we'll take a lot of our scrap and turn it into aluminum, uh, which, which we think is a real advantage for us over folks using steel. Uh, where is T-slots used? And I think the better question is kind of where is, where is T-slots not used, right? Um, you know, we like to think our backbone is kind of the manufacturing world. Um, but it's really much more than that too. Um, you know, you'll see us a lot in the manufacturing world for some of the reasons I've already mentioned. 
uh, changeover, modularity, lean manufacturing, but you're also seeing us grow in other areas too, healthcare, retail, universities will use us a lot as, as, as they're going through some of their product development and some of their engineering schools and things like that. The automotive industry, which is which has really grown over time and, and moving more away from steel into aluminum. Research and development, we play well in that area too with, again, like I mentioned, test fixturing and things like that. So, you know, while our backbone is certainly the industrial manufacturing world, uh, it continues to grow as more and more people learn about our product. Um, some specific applications, uh, right? Safety and guarding, incredibly important as, as OSHA restrictions become more and more, um, you know, more and more important, more and more enforced, uh, more and more things need guarding, guarded, right? It's, it's, it's an ex expensive liability if you have somebody that gets hurt that doesn't have something uh, get guarded properly, not only with medical bills, but also the OSHA penalties that come along with it. Now, automation, right? We, we all know how important automation is, um, you know, especially with what we've gone through with a limited workforce. Uh, and we'll get more into that in a minute as well, but the material handling carts, uh, another kind of backbone application for us. Robotics, one, one that is, is, is growing, kind of goes hand in hand with automation, but robotics continues to, to really grow and grow with us. Fixtures and furniture, uh, really having a lot of growth in the architectural world where they're they're liking that industrial finish to a lot of the applications they do. Uh, displays, you know, the modularity that we provide for displays, and then automotive process equipment, and of course, lean manufacturing, which can also save folks uh, a lot of money. Uh, so moving on, uh, we talked about, you know, what you can build with T-slots, uh, machine guarding and framing, right? We, we play well in that world, not only, not only because of the modularity, but because of the different offering the pr different product offerings that we have, right? It's, it's, it's probably our largest industry when, when we talk about machine guarding, but because of the variety we offer, we have profiles that have light and, and very light offerings where if, if they're not supporting a lot of weight, you can, you can have a, a, a less, less expensive option to build some of these guards out of, right? Um, you know, the, cusp, the, custom, the customization that's available with the material allows, allows customers to create guarding and safety barriers that can grow as work cells grow too. So, uh, you know, machines break and processes are constantly being re redefined. Our, our T-slots material can grow and adjust with the machine, saving customers time and money. So we think that's really important for our customer base. And then you get into some of our, you know, I'll call them our, our wheelhouse applications, so to speak. Uh, clean clean rooms and, and workstations and, and touch on clean rooms for a minute. Obviously, COVID-19, uh, the recent pandemic has has really provided a lot of, of new opportunities uh, with our product, right? We start talking about dividers, sneeze guards, modular clean rooms. Um, you know, it, it's 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 an area where you know, we knew we had some some opportunities and customers had some needs, but this really kind of expanded our presence in that industry and had us kind of thinking outside of the box with some of these applications. But, you know, we've, we've, we've helped a lot of customers out there get back to work, uh, create safe work environments, things like that with some of the, some of the product offerings that we do have. And um, then you start talking about robotics enclosures and you look at the way we sell, you know, even, even into material handling and a little bit, a little bit in that area as well is you know with us selling through distribution um we, we we really we really partner with solution sellers a lot of our distributors they 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 they're value-added distributors they sell complete solutions so our product goes hand in hand with what they sell they may sell valve sensor cylinders but they can come in and, and sell you a complete solution and, and use our product as kind of the base to do so so you know obviously Robotic enclosures, you know, you're, you're seeing a lot of these, these cobots, we'll call them, you know, with, with, with some of the workforce challenges, you're seeing a lot, a lot more of those uh, in, in, the mark, in the manufacturing world. So our product goes hand in hand with, with, with what, um, what folks are doing there. So uh, moving forward, uh, workstations and pneumatic systems, lean solution process boards and, and, and DIY deck railing, uh, all all really popular applications with us. Uh, you know, in the current climate of the work workforce, we're experiencing a shortage in labor, labor which gives way to automation and, and lean operations. Uh, we're, we're constantly challenged to find the most efficient ways of being productive. 
you know, T-slots extrusion allows, allows customers to adjust and create the perfect workspace that is customized to their exact need. So, you know, when you think and act lean, I, I think you become more productive and more efficient, which our product I think can really help, help you do so. Um, pr productivity increases and you, you end up saving time and money. So, you know, again, it, it's, it's another, another opportunity for us to kind of build up our distribution network because I think in conjunction, in conjunction with them, you know, we can help design some really solid uh, lean opportunities. And then I mentioned architecture and design, just the aesthetics that the industrial look gives. Uh, we're really seeing a lot of growth in that area as well. Uh, what are our capabilities? You know, how can you get our product, right? So, you know, we have a catalog uh, where, we, where, we, where we, we give all of our products. We have parts pieces that you can buy, stock length material, parts and pieces off the shelf. Uh, if, if you have the ability to cut and machine yourself, you can purchase like that. You can buy the stock length bars. We'll ship you out, you know, a 20 foot, a 20 foot bar and, and, and the parts and pieces to go with it. And you may have the expertise and the skill set and the equipment to be able to, to cut and, and machine that yourself. But if you don't, uh, we, along with our distributors, can help create an application for you and, and send you a kit ready to, ready to assemble. We'll cut machine it for you. Uh, we'll label the bars if need be. We'll provide you a drawing. It's it's almost like you purchased something from Ikea. It shows up at your door, and it's ready to assemble and build for you. Again, we think that anybody can build with our product. So when it shows up in kit form, ready to assemble, you know we can have the application, the product to you within a handful of days, and it's ready for you guys to assemble and and, and put put into production whatever that whatever that uh, whatever that production may look like. And then assembly, assemblies and subassemblies. If you don't have the time, labor, resources to put into building something, you know we can ship something out subassembled for you. If it's a guarding wall, you know if it's a, a workstation, a you know some type of, of of room, you know we can send it out in a subassembly where all you're doing is taking a few joining plates and putting it together, or we can send you a full full assembly that's ready to take off a truck and put right into right onto your floor and use. So there, the option is essentially yours uh, and, and we provide you all three. We've got, we've got customers that, that, that can do the stock thing really well and they've got the ability to bring the material in and, and cut and machine it themselves and, and they can do it and do it really well. We have cut some customers that don't have that, those type of capabilities that, that you know, can just take, that just want the kit to show up and, and build it and put, out, put it out on the floor. So at the end of the day, the choice is yours. We just wanna make sure you have that option. You know, and and I want to talk a little bit too about the advantage of being vertically integrated, right? You know, you're, you're we're, we're the only we're the only extrusion provider in the industry that is owned by an extruder, right? There's 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 a huge benefit to being able to pack your own sh pack your own shoot in terms of supplying yourself, right? You look at all the challenges that that COVID nineteen has has provided. You know the supply chain issues, the disruption, right? Uh, you know if you're relying on somebody else to provide you with aluminum, which a lot of our competitors are, if we go through a situation like we what, like we just did, your lead times are going to get extended way out, right? If you can if you can provide aluminum for yourself, which we can, uh, it's a huge competitive advantage, and not only to be able to supply yourself, but if there's something custom out there that you need, you know chances are we can do it. It's not painful painful for us to look at potentially setting up a new extrusion, a new part, a new piece, because we do it all ourselves. So there's a, there's a real beauty in being able to do that, but, you know, custom solutions go beyond just what we're able to do with a die. You know, if there's some unique needs you need, you know, we can, we can create some custom packaging for you. If you're an OEM and, and our product is a part of your finished good, you know, we've got some private label packaging options. We can put your part number on our part. Uh, you know things like that. Again, I mentioned the full and sub the full and sub assemblies. We've also got a panel shop where if you need some wire mesh, some clear polycarbonate, things like that. You know we can cut and machine that for you and make that part of our uh, part of our part of your application and ship that out. Um, you know we've also got custom finishing that's available. We've got in-house anodizing. Um, so you know all those all those custom solutions we we think are a real competitive advantage for us. Uh, and a real benefit for you. So we're really, really proud of that. Uh, that said, I'd, I'd like to take a chance. You know, I, I just, you know, if you could guys could take a chance and, and, and answer the question, I just kind of went over, you know, kind of the three ways that we send material out. I'd be interested to see what our listeners 
you know, which way they prefer to buy. If, you know, if they've been a customer for a while or bought T-slotted aluminum in the past, how, what their preferred method of, of, of purchasing is. If it's kits, right, the, the, the you know, showing up ready to assemble, uh, or if it's full stock length material that you cut and machine yourself, or if it's those sub assemblies and full assemblies. Really, really curious. There's a lot of there's a lot of folks out there that don't know we offer all three, right? Some some customers think that they can just buy the stock material. They don't know that we kit. And there's certainly a lot that don't know that, you know, they can they can have us sub assemble or fully assemble as well. So really, really curious. And I, I think that's been about 30 seconds. So I'll go ahead and see what we've got. So it looks like looks like a good mix here, right? Uh, I, that that sub assembled and fully assembled uh, numbers a little bit higher than I thought it would be, but it's something that, that that we certainly see growing, right? I mean, especially as we've talked a little bit about, uh, you know, the workforce kind of, of being depleted and, and there not being as many bodies to put into to doing builds and, and, and things like that. So, you know, uh, and, and, the, and the kits being the most popular is no surprise to me at all. So, the good thing about the good thing about T slots and Bonnell is we've got a distribution network that that really is is strong in all three of these areas. So you know we'll be able to help you out uh, certainly with 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 all three of these needs. So appreciate everybody taking the time to answer that. Uh, moving forward, uh, where and how can T slots be ordered? You know, I talk, I've talked a lot about our distribution network. Uh, you know, you can go to our website tslots.com and, and and look up distributors in your area. Uh, if you don't find one in your area, or if there's a, a gap, you can certainly contact us and, and we can help you out. Um, we do have two locations that service uh, the T-Slots brand. We've got Bonnell, we've got Bonnell plants across the country, two of which right now service the T-Slots product. Um, you know, we're one of, we're one of the few, uh, we're one of the few players in the industry that, that can ship kits out of multiple locations on both sides of, of the of the Mississippi. So that's uh, our, our Niles, Michigan plant is is a newer one to us where we're just starting to ship out kits. Our Clearfield uh, Utah plant has been around for some time. We do a great job of shipping product out of there as well. But we've again, we provide options for you and, and something we're proud of. And, and you know, we're going to we're going to continue to expand our 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 brand across our multiple plants. So we're only going to provide more and more options for you. And then, and then finally, I'll end on this. You know, we, we really want to be your partner from idea to application, and we want to help you along the way, right? Um, you know, we're not, again, I mentioned, we're not limited to one specific, you know, area. We're not one, one specific market. Um, so if, if, if you've got an idea, we want to help you. We want to help you from that idea standpoint to, to, to the design standpoint, to being able to, to create that application. And then again, like I mentioned, like I've harped on, there's options, right? So, um, you know, we want to be your, we want to be your backbone and help along the way. So just make sure you contact us and, and, um, you know, we'll be there every step of the way. So with that, I will turn it back over to our moderator. Hello, hello, and thank you. Um, just about ready for the Q &A, uh, and A and, Right before we do, let me just say, before we begin the Q&A, uh, if you wouldn't mind, direct your attention to our webinar survey available on the right-hand side of your presentation window. And if you closed it, you can reopen it, uh, this little widget, by uh, uh, clicking the icon at the bottom of your screen. And thanks in advance for filling out this feedback form because your participation in the survey does allow us to better serve you. In any case, uh, let's get going here. Oops, where'd that Q&A slide go? <laughs> We're okay. Um, there we go. Uh, what's our first uh, question? There are many, many. Let's get that up here. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, our first question, another, uh, let's just go with, uh, uh, a quickie, are your parts or CAD files available to everyone? And uh, where can they be found? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and take that one. Our part uh, CAD files, they are available. Uh, typically, they would be hosted on our website. Uh, we just had a website redone. Um, and at the moment, we are in the middle of updating all of those CAD files as well. 
So we have taken that down for the time being. That will be uh, available here shortly. But in the meantime, if you want, you can reach out to us and we can provide you with any CAD file that you're looking for, or we can give you access to a folder that you'd be able to download whatever ones you would need individually. Very good. Uh, next. What design software do you use or do you recommend? Okay, uh, yeah, I'll take that one as well. Uh, the typical design software that the, the majority of either distributors or customers use is SolidWorks. Uh, that's just kind of the base one that seems to be the most popular. Uh, outside of that, though, with our CAD files, you are able to design in just about any software that is provided. Um, we are working on a system ourselves that you'd be able to integrate our products and be able to get a bill material, but that is something that will be down the road. So at the time being, uh, with our CAD files, you can design in just about any software and we can help get a bill material. Oh, very good. Uh, here's one. Uh, do you sell direct or through a distributor? I know you've talked about value-added distributors, but do you want to uh, just address this one? Uh, do you sell direct or through a distributor? Yeah. Uh, Josh, do you want to handle that one? Yeah. So we sell, you know, you, you heard me talk a lot about distribution and that, that that's how we sell. We sell... Uh, we sell through distribution. So I mentioned going to our website and you can find a local di local distributor there. Um, so tslots.com and then we have a distributor lookup, but we've got a lot of, of really, really solid distributors across the country, really good value added distributors. So if again, but th there are some holes geographically. So if there are, you know, let us know and make contact with us and, and, and we'll help you out. Uh, uh Someone's asking, uh, what are the three advantages or three advantages uh, and disadvantages of using T-slot? I mean, you know, versus the alternatives, which I know you've, uh, uh, that's your whole presentation, but you, if you'd like to sum that up, it might be a good question to address. Yeah, one of the, there's more advantages than there are disadvantages. Uh, one of the biggest things for the advantages side, I would say, is the modularity of our profiles. Um, again, there's no one single way to build something, even if it's built, you have the ability to change it up. It can grow and change with your process. Uh, the other one is the weight. Uh, compared to still, the weight ratio uh, is going to be just as durable to any still applications for pound for pound. Um, and again, there's a little, there's, you can either machine it or you can have it done with uh, uh, bolts and fasteners. Um, as for disadvantages I can't have any off the top of my head at the moment. Okay. Uh, what alloys uh, do you use? So the alloys that we use for our extrusion is an alloy that is called 6560. Uh, this is be this is in the family of the 6063 alloy for those who are familiar with it. Uh, we do have a T6 temper that we use for our extrusions as well. This being, uh, so for those who aren't aware, 6063 or the 6560 is a softer alloy, uh, but that T6 temper gives it a hardening property that makes it easy to machine. Uh, you can do other type of cutting with it as well. That doesn't leave as many burrs, so it's not as sharp straight off of the edge or off of a, of a machining tool. Okay. Uh, we have so many. The next one is, uh, uh, does anyone make a larger version suitable for construction? the equivalent of a two by four and a four by four. Can, can you repeat that question, please? Sure. Uh, uh, someone's asking about the availability of like a larger version uh, that might be suitable for construction applications uh, along the lines of like two by four and four by four instead of, you know, uh, uh, you know instead of a, like a larger frame made out of a, you know, two by four or four by four. Josh, do you want to take that one well it sounds like they're asking if we have some larger profiles and i don't know if they're basing that off of, of the profiles that were shown um you know in the in the presentation but yes you know i i would recommend that they visit our website and if they're you know looking for something that's two inches by four inches you know whatever those diameters may be you know i, I would spend some time on there um, but we do have sizes we do have those sizes we do have you know depending on how large they want to go right um 
But there's there's tons of options, and the advantage of again that I mentioned of being owned by Bonnell is if there is there's an extrusion that that there's a demand for that you don't see on our website, you know, let us know, right? There's there's a chance that we can easily have that quoted up and looked at and see if it's economical for you. Um, so we're not limited to what you see. You know, we, we we obviously have an offering for a reason, and there's a lot of big movers there. But you know, if there's if there's demand for uh, an extrusion that we don't have, it's certainly something that we can easily take a look at. Yeah, and, and I wonder, you know, strength versus size also. But uh, I better just keep moving on instead of interjecting because I'm just the moderator. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, in, you know oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Uh, do you black anodize finishes? Uh, uh, oh, does your black anodize finish fade in the sun? Um, to answer that question, no. Uh, we built the, or not we built, uh, we use chemicals in the anodize that we use that is specific to be outdoor and to take the harsh environment and to be able to withstand those for many years. So it'll, it'll be a long while. Uh, many, many years before you'd see any type of fading with our black anodizing. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, unlike the yellow, which would be indoors and, would, you know, would be left prone to that. Uh, so yeah. then uh, uh, here's a good one. Uh, if I bought uh, if I bought full stock and designed and built out my own kit, would you all be able to then turn it into a kit that I, ha that, uh, I can have you make and purchase? Do you want me to read that again? Yeah. If I bought full stock and designed and built out my own kit, would you be able to then turn it into a kit so that I can have you make it and I can purchase it? You know, the yeah, idea. Take that, <laughs> yeah. You mean take that, Spencer? Yeah, if you want to roll with that one, Josh. Yeah, I think I understand. I think I, I think it, I think what they're saying is 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 if you know if they. They had an application in mind. They just bought the stock material, and they, you know, they're kind of going through some prototyping, and and they ultimately figure out what their design is. Can we reverse engineer that and turn that into a kit? And the answer is one hundred percent yes. Right? We, you know, whether it would be us or or simultaneous with with the customer or distributor got involved, we could we could figure out the measurements, get that drawn up, and turn it into a kit. Easy. It, it's it's something that's done. It's uh, quite often. So the answer is yes. Very good. Uh, let's see. Do you ship outside the U.S.? Uh, yes, we do. We currently ship to Mexico and Canada, and we do also offer some of the the, the Caribbean areas, so uh, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, and those type of other areas out there. We don't ship uh, across the water to Europe at the moment, just to Canada and Mexico. Mm hmm mm hmm uh let's see what uh i think can answer uh oh well let's just double back this is just a quickie but uh, do you sell your material online uh uh as well as through distributors no at the moment all of our sales are done through distribution as josh hit on in his uh, portion of that uh, our distributors are do well with integration so they offer a lot more value outside of just the extrusion uh, that being said, though, they will sell you just extrusion as well if you're not looking for anything else. But at, at the moment, uh, all of our sales go through distribution. Oh, that's great to know. That's great to know. Uh, that was a good, good question, actually, with everything being so online these days. Right? Yep. Uh, and you mentioned Costa Rica already. Um, uh, do you... Uh, have uh, T slots for uh, available suitable for dynamic loads or only for static? And uh, can you build small crane applications? Um, I'll, I'll let Josh take that one. Can you read that one more time? Did you say dynamic loads? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, I think I think. I think every application is is, is different. So I, I think the, the in short, yes, but it's certainly something we'd want to take a look at and and bounce off of kind of our design team, our engineers, just to take a specific look at it. A lot of it depends on how much weight we're talking about, what the environment is, you know. So you know, we'd certainly want to look at what different profile options and fastening options there are. 
But I, I certainly think that, you know, we've, we've been a part of applications like that, but we certainly want to take a case by case basis and review it, you know, review it um, by itself, but something we're, we're certainly willing to do. Okay, very good. Uh, here we go. Uh, what fastener type provides a better or stronger connection? Uh, an anchored fastener or a gusseted bracket or a gusset bracket? Um, both of those provide a really strong, uh, durable connection. So that's going to be on the preference of whoever's building this application. Uh, the anchor fasteners may tend to be a little stronger. Uh, the downside to them is they do require machining. So there is an, an additional cost to have that bored out into the extrusion. Uh, where your gussets, all you need is the bracket hardware to attach it. But both are very strong connections, and that really will come down to the preference of uh, who's using that or what application. Uh, very good. Uh, we do have a few more, but uh, uh, we're, we, uh, that's about all the time we have for questions today. But don't worry to those of you who had more questions. Uh, we appreciate your time uh, and expertise on today's topic, and uh, I'll explain why you shouldn't worry about that. Uh, thanks to our sponsor, Bonnell Aluminum, as well to everyone in the audience. We really appreciate your attention and participation. Uh, now, without, uh, within the next 24 hours, you'll receive a personalized follow-up email with details and a link to today's presentation on demand. And uh, please, you can all feel free to invite your colleagues and peers who may not have been available to listen to the event but have work cell through handling any other possible needs uh, and they might be interested. So you can send the, uh, you can uh, rewatch and share on demand. Uh, finally, this webinar is copyright 2022 by Informa and the presentation materials are owned by or copyrighted by Informa Markets. The individual speakers are solely responsible for their content and opinions. And on behalf of our guests, Spencer Nance and Josh Brook, I am Bob Ferber. Thank you so much for your time and have a fantastic day.